All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. Coming at you tonight with a fight review. So we're going to Tokyo, Japan, to the legendary Karakuen Hall for Deep Jewels number 32. We're going to the microweight, excuse me, atom weight division. Sari Oshima coming in three and two, taking on Emi Tomomatsu coming in at 15 and 17. This was a quarterfinal bout of the Deep Jewels atom weight Grand Prix. The winner of this would go on to the semi-finals and finals on the same night at Deep Jewels 33, scheduled for, I believe, May 8th. And the winner of the Grand Prix will be crowned the new Deep Jewels Adam Weight Champion. So let's get into the fight. Uh, first round, they come out, a touch of gloves, a jab from Oshima, who then immediately went for a takedown shot, but was denied. So then Oshima was able, still able to close and got a trip takedown against the fence. From there, Oshima slid around to a back mount, but Tomomatsu was able to escape and stand up. However, Oshima had a hold of one of Tomomatsu's arms, and she locked in a front double wrist lock, which is, if you're not familiar with that term, it's the same as a Kimura. And used, basically used that double wrist lock and tripped Tomomatsu down to the ground to pull her down, and Oshima rolled with it and was able to land on top from there. She moved to side control, quickly wrenched that double wrist lock hard. Tomomatsu had her other arm trapped underneath her as well, so she was forced to kick and verbally submit, uh, giving Oshima the win at just 45 seconds of the first round. So your winner, Saori Oshima via submission due to rebel, double wrist lock, aka Kimura. 45 seconds, round one. Wow, uh, super fast finish. You know, I did a live fight companion for this event and I was just speechless at this finish. It was that fast. It was actually the only finish of the event and boy, what a way to cap off what was a fun event overall just with a such a quick, fast submission in what became the main event. It was just over in the blink of an eye. Um, interesting to note that this was the fastest loss of Emi Tomomatsu's career. Now she's been fighting for years. She is a 33 fight veteran. Unfortunately, she has more losses than wins at this point, but I looked it up and the major majority of her losses are by decision. And the only time she ever came close to losing this fast was in her very first fight. She lost in like three minutes and some seconds of the first round via submission. So Oshima came out here and beat her faster than anyone in a long career. I mean, 45 seconds is just killer. And you know, my last note here was Killer Instinct by Saori Oshima, who I didn't, did not think had that in her. Um, for things to work on, for Oshima, obviously it was a flawless victory. For Tomomatsu, I don't really have anything for her to work on, but I think at this point, you know, she's like 38 years old, I believe, 39. It's time to seriously consider retirement. Now, she took to social media afterwards and, you know, said, you know, she worked hard in the gym, but obviously there's still things for her to work on and promises to come back, you know, stronger. This tournament, though, was like her last real chance at glory to try to get to a real title. Like, she was announced a winner before, even though she had lost a fight because her opponent missed weight. So she was she had a belt, but she was always considered like a paper champ. And this was honestly her real last chance at glory and just came up short, unfortunately, for her. Um, I think it's really time for her to consider retirement. I mean, she's had a long career. She's had... A somewhat storied career. I mean, she's fought just about er everybody who's anybody within the Asian, you know, MMA scene, women's MMA scene. So there's no, I, there'd be no shame at this point in calling it a career. For fights to make, I'm not going to pick one for Tomomatsu. For Oshima, if Deep Jewels continues with the bracket based off the ABCD fights, then she is going to be scheduled to face Shiyu Park in the semifinals 
a rematch of their fight from Deep Jewels 31 back in December with Park winning by decision. However, if it goes to a redraw, it could still end up being Park or it could be um, Hikaru Aono or I Am Yurikami. So if it goes to by the bracket, then it, her next fight's already decided. But if it goes to another drawing, it could be any of the three. So we'll just have to see. So those are my thoughts on the fight. Just like I said, fast, fast finish, so fast. Um, like I said, I was left speechless when I saw it live. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the fight in the comments down below. Now, as soon as Deep Jewels uploads the video to YouTube, I will post the link in the description and a pinned comment. So go ahead and check it out and then come back and let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like, share it as well, help the channel grow. And while you're at it, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.